Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signal Cell Systems. In this video, we will see a question which had appeared in Gate Triple Examination in the year 1996. The question is, the unit impulse response of a system is given as the impulse response is minus 4 e raised to minus t plus 6 times e raised to minus 2t. Then, what is the step response of the same system for time greater than or equal to 0? So these are the four options. Let's see how to solve this question. Okay. So what we have is impulse response which is equal to minus 4 e raised to minus t plus 6 times e raised to minus 2t. So we know that the transfer function of a control system or any system is inverse Laplace transform of impulse response. Okay. So this is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 4 times e raised to minus t plus 6 times e raised to minus 2t which is equal to 4 upon s plus 1 plus 6 times uh, inverse Laplace transform of e raised to minus 2t is s plus 2 ok so this is minus 4 this is minus 4 e raised to minus t. So if you simplify this 6 upon s plus 2 minus 4 times s plus 1 you get 6 times s plus 1 minus 4 times s plus 2 this will be s plus 2 s plus 1 So this will be 6s minus 4s is 2s and 6 minus 8 is minus 2 upon s plus 1 into s plus 2. So this is a transfer function which is nothing but cs upon rs okay so we got what is the transfer function of the system now we need to find out what is the value of c of s if r of s is equal to 1 by s which is nothing but step input so we need to find out the step response for the same system so the transfer function is same however the input is now step input in instead of impulse okay so let's see what is c of s when r of s is 1 by s after that we will find out the inverse laplace transform of c of s which will give us c of t so that is the final answer let me take a new page so we have c of s which is equal to r of s into transfer function this is transfer function so r of s is 1 by s which is step input so we have c of s which is equal to 2s minus 2 upon s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 so what we will do, we will simplify this. So we will rewrite this as 2 times s upon s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. Okay. And then minus of 2 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. 
ओके सो दिस इज सी ऑफ एस बट हियर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सी ऑफ टी विच इज इनवर्स लाप्लस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सी ऑफ एस ओके सो टू डू दैट C of t will be this x cancels with this s, so we'll take only the first part now. This can be written as two into Laplace transform of one by s plus one into s plus two. It can be calculated by rewriting this as one upon s plus one minus one by s plus two. Okay, so this is inverse Laplace transform of this. It will be two times. This is e raised to minus t, and this is Laplace inverse Laplace transform of one by s plus two is e raised to minus two t. So same here, inverse Laplace transform of one by s plus one is e raised to minus t. Okay. So the for the first part we got c of t as two times e raised to minus t minus two times e raised to minus two t. Okay. So what we did we calculated inverse Laplace transform for first equation, and this is that. Now. We need to find out inverse Laplace transform of two upon s s plus one s plus two. This is minus two. So this is the second part. So this is not straightforward. We'll have to do some more simplification to get the inverse Laplace transform of minus two by s into s plus one into s plus two. So I'll show the steps now how to find the inverse Laplace transform. Uh, let me grab a new page. So let's see how to find out inverse Laplace transform of minus two by s into s plus one into s plus two. So Let's rewrite this minus two by s into one by s plus one into s plus two. Okay. So this can be simplified as you can see whatever is there in this small bracket. It can be rewritten as one by s plus one minus one by s plus two. So this is nothing but s plus two minus s minus one by s plus one s plus two, which will be again one by s plus one into s plus two. Okay. So now what will happen? Continuing this, it will be Minus two by s into s plus one, and this will be minus of minus plus two upon s into s plus two. Okay. Now again we have to rewrite this as one by s minus one by s plus one. Okay. The one by s into s plus one can be written as one by s minus one by s plus one. Similarly, this can be written as one by s minus one by s plus two. So this will be s plus two minus s, which will be two. So we need to divide it by two here. Okay. This will be same as two by s into s plus two. 
So what I did was I rewrote minus 2 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 as this equation which is minus 2 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 plus this gets cancelled. Uh, we have 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 2. Okay, we can write 2 by s into s plus 2 as 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 2 because this will be s plus 2 minus s upon s into s plus 2. So this gets cancelled which is 2 by s into s plus 2. Okay, so basically this is what I wrote because it will be easier for me to calculate the inverse Laplace transform if this equation minus 2 by s into s plus 1 s plus 2 is in this form rather than this form. Okay, so let me write it here. We have minus 2 into 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 plus 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 2. Okay. Now we calculate inverse Laplace transform of this whole thing. Okay. So going from here, we have minus 2 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is 1. Okay, so that will remain. Now next, minus into minus is plus inverse Laplace transform of 2 by s. 2 by s plus 1 is e raised to minus t. 2 into e raised to minus t. Okay. Now we have inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is 1. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 2 is e raised to minus 2t. So this will be minus 1 plus 2 times e raised to minus t minus e raised to minus 2t. Okay. So this is a inverse Laplace of minus 2 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. Now we need to add this to the earlier inverse Laplace transform to get the final C of t. Okay, so let's do that. So the total C of t will be the one which we found out first, which is 2 times e raised to minus t minus 2 times e raised to minus 2t. This is the first uh, inverse Laplace transform of first equation. And so we add this plus the one which we found out now, that is minus 1 plus 2 times e raised to minus t minus e raised to minus 2t. So adding this, we have 2 times e raised to minus t plus 2 times e raised to minus t, that is 4 times e raised to minus t and adding minus 2 e raised to minus 2t with minus of e raised to minus 2t this will be minus of 3 times e raised to minus 2t and this is minus 1. So out of these options we have minus 3 e raised to minus 2t plus 4 is to e raised to minus t minus 1. Uh, rewrite it here plus 4 times e raised to minus t minus 1. So the correct answer is option B. So this is the correct answer. So this is how you need to find out the step response from the impulse response if it is in time domain. Okay. So you want you need to have the understanding of Laplace transform and in inverse Laplace transform. So these are the must to solve these kind of equations. Okay. So if you have any doubts and if you want to solve 
any questions from control system or time domain analysis in particular please use the comment section and uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and also spread the news right. there is this channel which is having the electronic and communication videos thank you